we're here today to talk about sedation and obviously Red Cross and ASA have teamed up to create an important educational program in this area. Uh, but first, let's get some basics out of the way. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what is driving the need for a standardized sedation program nationwide and maybe a little information on who needs this program and why? Over the last 10 to 20 years, we've had nothing short of a revolution in how we approach performing a pain or anxiety-inducing procedure. And procedural sedation lets us manage a patient's pain and anxiety to facilitate both therapeutic and diagnostic interventions that's done in a safe, effective, and a humane manner. We've seen an explosion both in the need for procedural sedation and the demand from patients for procedural sedation. And unfortunately, there's, there's a huge mismatch between the supply and demand for, for procedural sedation. Yeah, I, I just want to amplify that, Nisi. You're exactly right. We have increasing demand in the face of decreasing supply. The demand's not only the patients demand it, that they expect to be comfortable, and that's only reasonable, but uh, hospitals are now being measured on patient satisfaction. So really, the economy of some of our health systems depends on meeting that expectation. When you go from one hospital in one state to another hospital and you're trying to get credentials and get in there when there's a huge demand and, and critical need for your services, um, there, there was just not an easier standardized way for credentialing providers and procedural sedation. And our staff members saw this, they talked about this, and, and it was our idea to, to start developing this course. So we wanted to make sure that we used a format that would allow the experienced healthcare professionals to get back to test out of areas of competency and get back to the bedside where they were needed. So why did we go with ASA? That's easy. <laughs> They're the experts in anesthesia, including procedural sedation, and they set the gold standard and do the, have done the guidelines for sedation. So it, it was just a logical, perfect choice for a partner. Well, so, you know, from our perspective as anesthesiologists, so this is kind of our bread and butter. Uh, and so we, we really feel like we uh, understand sedation well. We have evidence-based guidelines that have been published and referenced by the healthcare community for a long time. And we have good educational design. What we don't have is a way to reach people outside of our organization. So we provide all this education to anesthesiologists. And we realized we needed to partner with uh, somebody like American Red Cross and, and, and with HealthStream as well to be able to effectively deliver these materials to the folks that need it, who are the sedation nurses and the proceduralists that use it. The Red Cross, the ASA have scientific advisory councils that are continually updating this. If something late breaking came, we would can update the course in real time tomorrow and of course have our regular updates. And this course goes through all of the different roles of the sedation team. It's all about the team. It's not just the person who's delivering the procedural sedation. So uh, it, it's something that a, a nurse practitioner, a critical care nurse, um, ER nurse, physicians, um, anybody that would be in the role in, in the room really helping out with procedural sedation, it'd be appropriate for them to take. 